Alright, I'd like to do a video on how I made my motorized chopper bike right here. The frame is a West West Coast Choppers bicycle frame. Bought this frame at a yard sale for twenty dollars. And just look a good frame with a lot of room to put an engine in it. So I think I'll make a cool bike out of it. This is my engine. I had it before. I bought it for things. I never used it, so I felt like this would be a good engine. It's a um, 49cc two-stroke pocket bike engine. It's Chinese. And here is a... Um, I attached this gearbox that's from a um, from scooters. It's Chinese scooters. And it has a um, 5 to 1 gear reduction inside. And this is a 15 tooth sprocket I bought for it. And this is a 25 chain. And right here, it's a 48 tooth sprocket. Which is a gear ratio with a top speed of 38 miles per hour. This tank is from a motorized bicycle. A kit, you can, bu you can buy these kits on eBay. And they have this tank included, it's a black tank. I had the bike before, but a fellow YouTube YouTuber wanted this, wanted the bike, so I took the tank and he ordered a new tank. It has two fuel valves, one here on the tank, and the engine, the carburetor, has a another one right here. The rest of the bike is unmodified except for this 26 inch front wheel. Actually, it's a back wheel from a cruiser bicycle, from a Schwinn Typhoon. This is how I was going to do my, my brakes. In the sprocket, there's like coaster brakes. Pedal backwards, the brakes engage. So I drilled a hole in the sprocket, attached a cable to it, and when you pull the brake lever, it pulls. sprocket back just enough so the brakes engage but it works pretty well here is my twist throttle I have a keyed ignition engine is a pull start engine it's kind of annoying you have to start at this angle which is the wrong angle. The engine is backward because I have the gearbox which switches the rotation of the sprocket. So, and it's spinning this way. This way. The wheel will be spinning that way. It's a half gallon tank. took about, oh yeah, the front, these pegs, I took the pedals out, and in the, I put a 5 threaded rod with these rubber from a pe motorcycle peg through, to make it more comfortable, because sometimes pedals just make it more complicated, it just makes it the most simple type of motorized bike, just an engine, no pedals, one chain. Makes it less complicated. It's my modified exhaust. The engine, these exhaust, these engines usually come from with. Don't they go? The exhaust goes that way towards the front of the bike, which wouldn't be, would look like, look really stupid. So I put this other exhaust, which isn't exactly designed for this. The bolt hole spacing was different. So I had to drill new holes, and doing so, I accidentally drilled a hole in the exhaust, so it's pretty loud. Whoops.
one last view of the thing. Oh yeah, it's top speed of 38. Did I say that? Probably. I'll give it a little run. last video I was trying to start it, couldn't turn the engine over. So I took the clutch housing off, clutch gearbox, whatever, and find that the nut that held on the clutch bell had come off and jammed in between the clutch shoes and the clutch drum. This caused the engine not to be able to turn over, so I couldn't pull start it or start it. And it, I took it apart, found this had been jammed in between, ready to put it back on, some Loctite, here, with my 12 mil socket, Get this as tight as we can with a, a socket to lose it, will you? To, uh, to secure it, we put the, um, the sprocket on the other side of the gearbox in a vise and we protected the teeth with a chain. If you put an old chain around the teeth, that protects the, the sprocket from the teeth of the vise. Uh, put Loctite on there, mm. uh, which, hold, which is a thread sealant, locks the, the nut on the thread. And then uh, another safety precaution as well is to center punch peen it. Uh, you get a center punch and put it between the nut and the shaft and give it a blow with a center punch like that and if you look very closely I don't know if you can see that it's burred the end of the shaft and the nut over which which locates it it just distorts the thread enough uh, to prevent it coming off and that should stay on there this time with a lot of and a, with the uh, Loctite and the center punch Alright, got the gearbox and clutch back on, tighten the bolts, that's the lock tight, put the chain back on, T just took it for a test drive, it's dark, it's fine now, hopefully that won't, that won't come off again and cause the engine to seize. <laughs> so, battery's running low on the camera. I'm going to have to turn it off.